Okay! It sounds like if you come to downtown Indianapolis and you're gonna eat food, you're gonna consume food, you know, life necessity. Yeah. Not going to Shapiro seems like the wrong move. Uh, that's what I hear, that it's a poor decision to not go there. You would prefer to go there over not. I don't get it. Take your body inside the building, hand them some kind of monetary Currency, amount. Yeah. They will hand you a delicious sandwich. I don't get it. Then consume. Consume Those it. the steps. I don't get it. We've added one little fun addition. We do all that, and then we film it on a camera. That's for you guys. today for you guys on this channel. I get it. And then there's a whole bunch more steps of us editing and getting other footage, and blah, blah. I'm sorry. For a minute there, you just bored me to death. So Shapiro's it. delicatessen is what we're getting into today. Let's check it out, Indianapolis. You've been great. Let's go. There's really nothing like a Jewish deli. One corned beef and one pastrami sandwich. Cut them in half. We each get half of the, each of the halves of the sandwich as. Acquired jump cut. I'm ready. Ooh. Whoa, he looks like a professional. You are such a loser. Ladies and gentlemen, it's an unboxing. An unbagging. You know, videos on YouTube, those unboxing videos, those would get a lot less views if you titled them un an unbagging. Is that just yeah. a bagged pickle, by the way? Yeah, I think this is also how cigars come sometimes. <laughs> and my drugs. Pharmaceuticals. Oh. Oh, man, this about to be good, good, good. You ready for the unbagging? Yeah. First things first. I'm the realist? First things first, I'm the realist. Corn B. Oh, baby. Corny bees. Wow. Corny God, bees. That looks good. Look at that Jewish bread. The famous rye. Can you catch that or should I? Let me. Oh my god. Just the quality of everything here looks like it's gonna blow me away. Look at that. Boy, oh boy. What do you want to start with? Thanks, Mom. <laughs> How come there's no Catholic delis? Um. Protestant delis? Lutheran delis? Baptist delis? Stop talking. Please. I kind of want to start pastrami. Fine with that, bro. Because I like corned beef the best. I want to end with corned beef. Okay, which one is that for me? Corned beef pastrami. So we asked them how it comes. Like, what's the way to get it? It's mustard and it's Swiss. That's what they say. Shaved meats. Oh. Cheers. Mm. I'll just turn the camera off and just eat these in peace and just enjoy it. I don't even want to talk to people. I just want to sit here. You know what? It's our show. Why don't we give a moment of silence for Mr. Shapiro? Did I just say a moment of silence? <laughs> that means it's not plural, so it's like already <laughs> done, right? Yeah. Mm. Dude, this is amazing. Stop talking. Mmm, you guys. I now understand why. Mm. Buffalo Bill wanted to skin and wear people because I would wear this as a skin suit. I would take <laughs> sh this shaved meat and wear it as a skin suit for sure. I think this year for Halloween. Sew together a bunch of deli meat and goes Buffalo Bill. I'm gonna be shaved meat. Mm. Um, how do you get meat to taste so good? The bread is fantastic. Accentuation with the mustard. But this meat, rip off a piece. I did. Oh my, just like, right? it's so good. Look at how tender. Oh my God, you Jewish delis, man. Tell me your sins, my son. Uh, well, I, I should mention that I'm Jewish. Well, that's no sin. Oh, good. <laughs> you ever been to any of the ones in Chicago? You ever been to the bagel? I've heard that's amazing from you. It's really good. The thing that is so incredible about a sandwich like this, there's not a bunch of ingredients they didn't right. do. It's just incredible meat. You know what I mean? That's all you got to really do right. Put it with some good bread, sure, but... You don't need anything else to it when you make it right, you know? Yeah, dude. I could eat that meat every minute for the rest of my life. Just sit there and eat pastrami. How's that pickle? Pretty good. And you're not a pickle guy. Mm -mm. Dude, these really good restaurants always change your, uh... Yeah, my perspective on certain foods. Mm -hmm. I'm willing to change. If someone gives me the right pickle, I'll change. If I can change, and you can change, everybody can change! You hear that? Got a nice sunset going down right now. This feels like the calm before the storm, because I know I'm about to get blacked out and hammered again tonight. <laughs> Corned beef. Oh tell my you god. About it. Look at how good this looks. In the sunset in Indianapolis, Indiana. Did you guys know Indianapolis is the 15th biggest city in America? We looked that up. We were shocked by that information. We thought maybe 30. Cheers. Oh my god. It's even better. Mm-hmm. I'm a corned beef guy. You're a corned beef guy. We're corned beef guys. We love this. <laughs> All right, Corey, uh, great monologue. I need you to do it again. A little more mundane. 
action. We're corn beef guys, we love this. Dude, I wanna like go in there and get some deli meat for the road. Road meat? Road meat. Whoa, look at this dude's hair behind us. Mohawk. Okay, but wait till he faces us. Oh wow. He's half blonde, blonde, half black. That's sweet, I wonder if that's a band. It looks like a band. You think their band name is half blonde, half black? I hope so. That's how I like my girls. I'm sorry, I just started hearing really loud circus music in my head. What did you say? This is insane. You know how I like my ladies? I like my ladies like I like my Cheetos. Hot and leaves my face and fingers all covered in her like stained red. <laughs> That is truly appalling. And also, you just totally messed that joke up. Well, it's a joke I wrote, so I can do whatever I want with it. Right, but are you happy with how it turned out? Presentation, that Damn. performance piece I just did, mm -hmm. I'd give it a D plus. <laughs> Sorry about the lighting, it just changed. It's that, you might have to move. Want me to move? I'm so bummed that this is almost over. Undescribable. Indescribable? Indescribable. Why? What's the difference between in and un? Come on, man. Dude, we didn't have power steering. <laughs> Sorry to take a break from heaven. Let me return. Why didn't they put their seat belts on in the parking lot? <laughs> it took so much willpower to not take a bite that whole time. Hmm. Oh bet. Right now, I could throw a football, Vortex Whistler for sure, <laughs> and hit Lucas Oil Stadium where the Colts play. We are right there, right in the shade of it. If you're from Indy, you know. I think I might become a Jew. I've always wanted to. Jewish people have the best food, except for all the lack of pork. Yeah, that part's a bummer. <laughs> they make up for it in their corned beef. I could get rid of bacon forever if I could have that. How do you corn something? This is a corning process. Tonight we're going to see Brooks Whelan do comedy in Broad Ripple. Four times seeing Brooks Whelan. One Dude. of my favorite stand-ups. He's stupid good. You may know him from his season on SNL where he was not utilized in the nature that he should have. Yeah, Although seriously. he did have a great bit on Weekend Update where he talked about his tattoos. Do you ever see that? Went out and got this bad boy on my side. Oh my God, Brooks. Yeah, it's a seascape <laughs> on my body. And if you don't know Brooks Whelan, he's currently dating YouTuber Grace Helbig, mm -hmm. who is a legend in the digital video world. It's a tank top that says, Why all day. <laughs> this is for when you're on vacation. And if we could just get Brooks Whelan to read my script, Shantytown. <laughs> out of five Jewish stars. Star that, of David. Out of five stars of David. Is that insensitive? Oh, Because I'm, I'm trying to do it in like a positive way. Out of five stars of David, how many stars of David do you give the pastrami and corned beef here at Shapiro's Delicatessen? I don't care what anybody says. Five, baby. Indy as a city, Shapiro's as a sandwich, you're all getting fives, babe. B? Hey, B? Five star, I, who cares? Five, I, what do you want me to say? Every time I eat something now that is just not that good, I get mad that I'm having the cal. I'm just like, man, what a bummer. Yeah, why like, am I wasting calories? Food like calories? that exists, and then other times you're in a predicament where you have to eat something that sucks. Yeah, I mean, is there like anything a hot worse? pocket, and I'm well, like. No, that's real, that's, fix your life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But you know what I mean? Like sometimes you gotta like go in somewhere, and you're like, oh, I need to eat because I'm gonna be hungry, so I gotta do it to not like be sick to my stomach from hunger. Right. So you have to eat something like, this sucks. Yeah. I'm eating this just just for the necessity of eating it. Most I'm trying to get out of, of that eating, in my life. Yeah, most of my eating when we're not doing this show is like, what am I doing wasting my time? <laughs> Shapiro's, you killed it. Crushed it. Eat it, Indy, it's always good.